am so excited to film today. So we are going to get into a get ready with me. I am probably day 13 of having some plastic surgery. So maybe by the time this is published, I will have shared my journey a little bit as to what type of plastic surgery I've recently had. And this is my first day feeling like almost myself, like I'm 80% there. Um, it has been interesting the last couple weeks. And, um, but today I thought, let's do a get ready with me. I really want to try this new palette that I got while I was on sabbatical. I couldn't help it. I, you know, I have to order makeup. I got the Smoke and Roses palette by ColourPop. Oh my God, this is like stunning. So I'm going to play around with that today. And I'm also going to play around with the highlighter. I got a highlighter from them. Um, well, anyway, I buried it in my drawer. We'll find it in a minute. So if you're someone that likes to watch Get Ready videos and you want to hear a little bit about my surgery journey and you love new makeup, then keep on watching. Okay, I figured since we're really just focusing on a new eyeshadow, I would just do the base, get that out of the way. Uh, so I went ahead and did the brows. I'm right now using the pomade by, called Brow Pomade by Benefit. Really like this. This is color three and a half neutral, but before I put that on, I found out that uh, Babe Lash has a volumizing brow, this is a brow filler. So I've been using that too. So I put the filler on and then I do the other pomade, pomade after that. And the filler color is taupe. Really like that. So today I'm really, 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 really fair. And I probably have a little more pink going in my skin right now because I feel like some of these medications I've been taking have been bringing a lot of circulation to the surface of my skin. So I've been pinker, but I opted to do the Stay Naked Liquid Foundation only because this is the, the fairest foundation I own. This is the color 40WO. So I use that for the foundation and then I'm always, I'm loving this, my tried and true shirt or um, Tarte Ultra Creamy Liquid Concealer. I love that one. I feel like I think this is light medium, I think. I know, it's hard for me to read these without my reading glasses and they're in the other room and I'm not going to get them. So yeah, so we're being casual. It's a casual Saturday. I'm gonna say that because it's one of my last Saturdays off for a while. Um, the doctor said I could get back to it in about two weeks. So it'll be two and a half weeks next Wednesday. So I really gave myself only a few extra days now that I'm here and feeling better, I kind of wish I had maybe a full week before I had to go back to work. Um, not just because I feel like it would have been nice to kind of have an, a few extra days to enjoy the healing a little more. Um, but it is what it is. I love my job. It's not that I don't want to go. I love working. I love being an esthetician, um, you know, and I'm relied upon. So I have to be kind of conscious of that. But um but for anyone out there who is thinking about a surgery like this, do as much of the time off that you can. If you don't have to return back to a job, give yourself the three weeks if you can. Um, but anyway, so I'm not going to get into too much detail as to why I did the surgery because I have other videos that have probably, probably been published before this one that I will link to that really go into the depths as to why I decided to do it. Long story short, I just had an area on my body I could not budge. Muffin top zone was driving me crazy on the fupa. I just couldn't take it. So I um, always saw myself getting surgery. I've always told people, I said, look, I'm going to have surgeries. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm definitely going to do it. So I knew I was going to do it. I wasn't really nervous about doing it at all. Did all my research, all that. You'll see that information in the other videos. And now that it's here, I'm still glad I did it. It's hard to see results. I'm probably going to be a ways away from that. Like I think Maybe I'll start seeing more results in six weeks. I mean, I can definitely tell I'm smaller in the areas of concern that were there, but it's so swollen still. I'm wearing my garment um, and uh, the bruising is going to be up the yin yang for a while. I have a lot of bruising and it's, it's going to happen. I mean, everyone's different on the bruising, but you're taking Motrin, you're, you're taking blood thinners kind of after your surgery. So obviously you're going to bruise and it's going to be a lot. Um, the one thing that I thought, the one thing that scared me was I had a lot of lymphatic drainage bruising that I wasn't expecting. Okay, so let's go into this palette. 
Um, so many colors to choose from. Uh, I don't know where to start. I think what we're gonna do, I usually, if I'm gonna do a look with an eye, I always have a mat on the lid. And my mats are usually a little bit light and then I might darken them up. So I'm kind of gonna go with this alone shade. I think that's what it's called, yeah. Okay, so we'll do the alone shade and I'm just gonna do the whole lid. And look, if you're looking for a fancy brush that I'm using, you will not find one. I have some fancy brushes. This is just not one of them. I honestly don't even know where this brush came from. But I like it because it's a fluffy brush. I really just like to use a fluffy brush when I'm grabbing um, when I'm grabbing a mat or a shimmer. This is it's gonna grab, it won't grab as much. So you have a little more control over where it goes. So I'm just gonna do that. I like this base color. So far, this is pretty. ColourPop is gonna have fallout. So if you're looking for a non-fallout shadow, don't buy ColourPop. I mean, that's part of the reason why I think they're a little more affordable. You know, if you were to get something like a Natasha Denona or maybe, a Nor or not Norvina, I'm sorry, Anastasia Beverly Hills, you probably aren't going to find a lot of fallout in, in majority of those shadows. Uh, this one you will. It doesn't really bother me. I don't find it to be an issue. I just love to have color options and you will have color options with ColourPop. Okay, so we have that down. So I think what I'm going to go next is... I'm going to do this one to do a little darker crease. It's called Look At Me. So it's a little bit more of a, a peachier pink. So let me grab a brush for that. I know I need to, I need to clean these brushes too because they are not... I haven't used my eyeshadow brushes in a minute. Oh, I like this pretty. So this lit, I mean, I knew it was going to be a peach or pink. I'm not really a peach or pink. I don't gravitate toward the peach or pinks all that much, but that's why we experiment and we have options. We can do different things. It's spring Michigan. It's actually a eh, somewhat nice day here. I thought we were going to have a little more sun today than, than we are. Um, and it's warming up a little bit, but oh, that looks pretty. There's probably some fall. I do have some powder on my face. I'm still one that likes to do the bake. And I'm using the one size uh, powder by Patrick Star. I really enjoy that powder. I'm going to need a new translucent powder soon, though, because this one's small. It was part of, like, a kit. So it's not going to last. I used to always use Laura Mercier, and I love her. Um... So I'm kind of in the market for a loose setting powder. If you guys have any ideas on what would be a good one, please leave in the comments. I'm open to trying something different and new. Or new to me, anyway. So yeah, so I'm just kind of darkening up that crease. That looks pretty good. I don't really think I need to do more darkening. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I'm really not doing a lot today. I'm just going to run some errands. I'm finally feeling up to driving. Um... I am taking pain medication, but I have really weaned myself off of most of it. So I'm just doing, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I'll find it and put it in below. It's a six hour one and I have been doing it probably every 12 hours. So I'm not even doing it every six hours right now. So I feel like I can drive a car. It's an NSAID, it's just a stronger NSAID. So I don't know if it's considered a narcotic, maybe it is. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the shimmer because I always love to do a shimmer right on the top of my lid. And there's so many shimmers in here to choose from. I don't know. I think I'm going to do on the edge, which is right here. So I'm going to do that. And I always use my pinky for that. I mean, real sophisticated stuff. And just pop it right there. That's pretty. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's really easy to use up minutes in these get ready with me. So I won't do both eyes because I'm already at eight minutes and I already talked a little bit before and I only have about 15 minutes to share anything. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to finish these eyes real quick. 
and then uh, we'll come back and chat a little bit more before I run out of my minutes. Final look, so I did grab one more shade out of here when I when I was finishing my eyes. I did faithfully right here and in the corner of my eye, which gave just a little more pop of sugar, shimmer, not sugar, shimmer. And then it kind of helps to open the eye when you do that. And then lately I've been just loving the Tattoo Liner by KBD. Did Tattoo Liquid Liner. This is Mad Max Brown 20, really like that. I also am still using up my Dial 10 Pro Mascara on the top and bottom. Oh, I did do another shadow. Duh, I forgot. I did a smoky eye underneath there a little bit and I grabbed Sun Around, which is right here, Sun Around. It looks brown here, but it's a little bit, I guess it is pretty much a brown, but it has a hint of like a red undertone there. Love the Smoke and Roses palette so far. I think of the look that we did. Would you consider buying ColourPop Smoke and Roses? I hope you do. I, I enjoy it and it's affordable, why not? Lips, I'm still using my Dial 10 Lip Liner. I just filled my whole lip in with that. And then, of course, you got to have a little Fenty Glow. So it's a Fenty Glow gloss on top. And then when we did the cheeks, I like to do a bronzer. I love my Bare Minerals Warm Bronzer. That's good. And then I'm still playing around with Dow 10's uh, Liquid Blush. Or I don't know if you call this a liquid, but it is, um, I can't think of it, like a paste kind of pop it on there with your fingers. And then of course I did that Super Shock Cheek Hippo. So this is more of a purpley undertone, not undertone, but it's more of a purple iridescent. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I just touched my top of my cheekbones with that. I find a, fa a fan brush works best to kind of go doo -doo -doo, like this, tip of my nose and I go up here. And that's usually how much I use the highlighter. You could always use this on the eyes too. It's not just for cheeks if you wanted. Um, but all in all, I feel like the look turned out good. Like I said, I'm just trying to feel better. I'm, I am feeling better, feeling myself again. It feels good to be able to want to sit here. I haven't even been in my beauty room in, in 13 days. I haven't been able to sit in this chair. Um, sitting down completely low like this was not an option a week ago. It wasn't even an option three days ago, honestly. Uh, so slowly but surely, I've been able to get more mobility back and do more things, which has been great. I got my hair done yesterday. I figured I could sit in a chair and get my hair done because I'm not moving. My friend gave me a good lightening up of all that dark balayage I had, which I love, but it was really hard to maintain. I didn't think a dark balayage would be hard to do. It was. It was. And I loved it. But bringing back a little bit of the blonde, you know, spring's here, summer, we're going to get a little more blonde. So next time I might lighten it up just a titch more, but my hair is super healthy. I have a great stylist. She keeps my hair healthy. She keeps it long. She knows I don't like to cut it too short. Uh, Cause when you get older, this is prime real estate. When your hair can grow long, you don't want to cut it. <laughs> I made the mistake of cutting my hair short when I got married at 40 and I've been growing it out ever since. Like I kept getting it short and short Kept, kept, I kept it short. I'll never do that again. It took forever for it to grow. So yeah, just so those are just my thoughts. But anyway, I wonder what you think about this look. Are you going to go out and get the Smoke and Roses palette? And, you know, hopefully you'll check back on those other videos that talk about my surgery in a little more detail. If you're someone that's considering plastic surgery or a tummy tuck or lipo, um, I'm sharing it all. I've shared photos. Some of it ain't pretty. And the photos aren't pretty right now. I took more photos today and there's a, we've got a ways to go yet, but definitely on the uptick. So I really appreciate you watching. I hope you decide to subscribe and want to see more content about aging in general and the things that we do to stay youthful and to stay fit. I hope that you do. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.